Hey Sunshine Sisters, welcome back to another video. Today, we'll be doing an Etsy slime review. Today, I'll be reviewing three slimes from different shops. Let's get started. First up, we have Sour Slime from Snoop Crunch. It is a DIY cloud cream slime. When we bought this slime, it was $6.99 and was supposed to be scented sour. It arrives with this cute package with activator and a slime care sheet. Inside you get a slime care card, which is super cute and colorful. And you also get a small bottle of activator. All right, so this is a blue and lime green colored slime. It is swirled. It is also topped with glitter. This is a wet cloud cream. And it is super pretty. It comes with two Sour Patch Kids add-ons and rainbow sprinkles. I decided to top the slime off like this. I loved the dual colored Sour Patch Kids. They were slightly stuck to the bottom though. They looked really cute and realistic. It did smell like sour apples. I really enjoyed the scent. It was pretty strong, but not super strong. This slime was nice and fluffy when stretched, and it didn't really make any ASMR besides slight sizzles when inflated. These sprinkles did add some crunch to the slime. Once fully mixed in, it didn't really change the texture too much. Just felt like a nice cloud cream. This slime did fluff up pretty well though. Almost like it had more snow than a regular cloud cream. Overall, I liked this slime. The scent was really good and the clays were super nice. slime we'll be reviewing is called Enchanted Hive. It is a DIY clay slime with a jelly base. When I opened it up, it came with a cute little candy and some activator. It also came with a care card and told me what to do if I had stiff or sticky slime. It comes with a clay honeycomb, which I absolutely love, and some Fimo slices and the main jelly base slime as well. It also comes with um, some fairy dusted honey, a clear glitter slime to drizzle on top. And lastly, I almost forgot, it comes with this adorable honey wand 
which is a really nice touch to the slime. Now, when I first opened the slime, I noticed right away that it was a little too sticky. It did have some amazing pokes though, and I love the color. It was also very stretchy and not stiff at all. However, as you can see, it did stick to my hands. Now, let's assemble this slime! I started by taking out the honeycomb clay and the femo slices. Now the fairy dusted honey. I noticed that it was a bit tacky and stiff, but I didn't really mind because I knew I was just gonna mix it into the slime. It did make really nice pokes though. I almost felt as if there was too much of it, which is, Kind of a weird thing to say, but it was hard to drizzle. I lastly added the Fimos and Bee Charm on top and was ready to mix the slime together. Now, as soon as I started mixing it, I knew that it was very, very sticky. So I went ahead and got my little activator bottle that was provided and did a few drops. Mixing in the clay was so satisfying. I did add more activator throughout playing with the slime and the stickiness did improve, but it was still overall a pretty sticky slime. It made some amazing bubble pops, as well as pokes. Thank you. 
As you can see, the slime inflated a bunch. I really love the slime. It was really fun to play with. I just wish it wasn't as sticky. Lastly, we have Care Bear Slime. This is a snow fizz with also a clay add-on. I liked how this one was wrapped. This is not a bear. So we also got a little cute package that came with a handwritten note. And also a bag of borax. So in the slime, it was supposed to be like a pastel multicolored slime, but it did slightly mix in shipping. I did see some of the colors throughout the slime though. The label was super cute and it was topped off with some green star glitters. This snow fizz was super creamy and not too packed, but still nice and crunchy. <laughs> I almost mixed it without putting the clay in. So this was supposed to be one of those cute lazy bears, but that is not what we got. As you can see, we put up a picture of what we were supposed to get versus what we got. So it was the right color and everything, but I assume that during shipping, it got squashed and it just was not properly wrapped. So I would recommend putting better wrapping and in, in putting it in a better container. Anyway, it was still pretty soft. So I was able to mix it in. I loved how much clay there was. So the slime ended up inflating so much. Just as a reference, you get about four ounces of slime. Adding in the clay made the slime even creamier. And I just loved it. It turned this slime into more of a light pink. The scent for this slime was not in the listing, but it was scented a vanilla. It kind of smelled like vanilla yogurt to me. It wasn't too strong, more on the medium. This slime wasn't sticky and super stretchy and it inflated quite a lot. This slime was actually one of my favorites. I just loved it. Overall, we love the slimes. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.